What we're about to jump into is how exactly I handle all of the customer service for my clothing brand. For the first four years growing my brand, I was handling all of the orders, handling all of the inventory, doing all of the returns and exchanges for my brand. And since then, I've partnered with my friend's fulfillment company out of Toronto called Lickety Split Fulfillment. And they now have taken all of that off my hands, they handle all of the inventory, they send out all the orders, and they deal with all the returns and exchanges. I wanna share with you exactly what my customer service looked like back before I was working with this fulfillment company and contrast that with exactly what it looks like now and how I handle returns and exchanges, how I deal with all the emails that come in for my brand. And I hope that this is insightful and it helps you run your clothing brand a lot better. Here it is. Apparel Success is sponsored by my buds over at Brand Crowd. Brand Crowd's a logo maker tool. You type in the name of the logo that you want to have made, hit enter, thousands of logos will come up. You choose the logo that you like, then you can edit and refine that logo as long as you want for free until it's perfect. This is a Hundo P design I made for my own clothing brand using Brand Crowd. If you're interested, head over to brandcrowd.com forward slash apparel success and you can get up to 66% off at checkout. All right, so to be completely honest with you, before I started working with a fulfillment company, and they started handling all of this and made it much more smooth, I really struggled with the challenge of dealing with returns and exchanges while I was handling all the inventory for my brand and dealing with all the outgoing orders. The logistical side of it can be really overwhelming sometimes if you're not super organized with it. When it comes to customer support, there's basically two main emails that you're going to get. You're gonna get emails from people wondering about your brand, asking questions, wondering about your sizing, and you're just gonna to have to answer those emails as politely as possible and really take the time to really give people the answers that satisfy them. So that's a huge component of customer support. Another side of customer support are people who have bought from you and now they've received their items and they either want to exchange the size of the item that they bought because it doesn't fit as well as they thought it would or they want to completely return it and get a refund for whatever reason. Okay, and these emails, if you've never dealt with this before, it can be like, where the hell do I start? So I wanna make this as simple as possible for you. Anytime a customer reaches out to my clothing brand who wants a return or an exchange, the simple answer is that they need to get the item that they want to return or exchange back to us. So they're gonna to have to ship that item to us. Now there's two options around this. You can either offer them a return label and offer free returns and exchanges, which is what we do with our clothing brand. We actually email them a return label so that they don't have to pay the expense and so that we cover that expense if they wanna return it or if they wanna exchange it. This is a big part of our marketing strategy, by the way, is offering that so that they don't need to pay for it. And another option, which is equally fine, is that the customer will need to cover the expense of shipping the item back to you, in which case you'll have to deal with the exchange and ship another item back to them. You can either decide to offer free exchanges and returns like what we do, or you can get your customer and just tell them, hey, ship it back to us, here's our address. If you wanna actually offer free returns and exchanges, the way to do this is to create a return label for your customer. You can do this literally, if you're using like UPS or something, you can go on Google and search UPS return label, and what you have to do is you just put in your customer's information that they gave you when they placed the order, so like their shipping address, and it will create a return label for you. You can also, for some of the carriers that you're using, whether it's UPS or like Canada Post or something, you can put in the tracking number of the actual order and it will create a return label for you. And this is really similar to what we do. With my company, my fulfillment company that sends out all of the orders for my brand, they use a software called Wismo. When a customer places an order, it looks to all of the different carriers in Canada and it looks to see which the most cost effective carrier is and then it decides to go with that carrier. So I don't exclusively send out my orders with Canada Post or Purolator or UPS. It goes to one of those depending on what the prices are. Okay, and that's this software called Wismo. So in order for me to create my return label for my customer, I use this software called Wismo. And you can see like I literally just log into Wismo. I copy the customer's tracking number from the order that they placed. I paste it into the tracking and then I literally just hit get return label. I download that PDF and I literally just attach it to the email and I tell the I tell the customer in an email, hey, you know, absolutely we can help you with the return or the exchange. Please use the return label attached to ship back the items. We're gonna do a quick quality check and then we'll send out the new 
item once we've received it, or we'll give you a, re a refund once we've received your products. Okay, that's just generally how it works for us. And another small thing to mention here is that since I'm not dealing with this myself, I'll actually tag my fulfillment center inside of the order that is being returned or exchanged. So I'll literally tag LS Fulfillment, Lickety Split Fulfillment, who's the fulfillment company that I work with, and I'll say, hey, just a heads up, I've created a return label, I've shipped this to the customer, they want an exchange, so expect this package to arrive. When my fulfillment warehouse receives it, they'll actually put that item back into the inventory after doing a quality check to make sure that it's all good. And then what I'll do in order to actually send that customer a new size if it's an exchange is I'll just go ahead and Shopify and create a new order. And when I create the new order, I'll just add the new size that that customer wanted, mark it as paid so that it's ready to be fulfilled. And that's basically how I handle the returns and exchanges for my clothing brand. Obviously, the emails are super important. You wanna answer as quickly as possible. You wanna be on the ball, answer people's questions, be really patient, keep them updated, send them the tracking numbers, tell them what's going on, and all of that's really important to have a really good customer experience for your customers. I spent a lot of time recording a completely free clothing brand course for anybody starting up a clothing brand. All you have to do to get access is go to freeclothingcourse.com. You can go through it at your own pace, and I hope you enjoy.